Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Today we are talking about grocery savings tips, whether it's a scam or it's actually saving money. So some of our tips people get very upset about. We are going to talk about the most upsetting one first. <laughs> And you I want, get you want to get rid of everybody this. in one fell swoop at the beginning. I huh? get yelled at this a lot. <laughs> All right. So do you think this is a scam or do you think this is saving money? Or do you think it's unethical? However you want to say it. So let's say you go into the store and you find a clearance aisle. Let's say they have 20 boxes of cereal on clearance for 50 cents. Do you take all the cereal if you're going to eat it? Is it a scam or are you saving money? She's going to make me answer these. So I'm going to be the one in trouble when you looked at me like that. I say take it all if you'll use it. I say that I don't. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. If I'm there at eight o'clock when the store opens and I get up, get ready and get there, then... Uh, see, Becky Ann agrees with me. She says, take it. So does Ann. Well, I guess like with the candy after Easter, you know, I'm going to get up at 630 in the morning, which is hard for me to do, get dressed and drive into the store. And it's kind of going work for me to go do this. And so if I'm making an effort and pushing myself to get to the store so I can get the good deal, other people could do it too, you know. And so it's like I'm working for that to get it. Now, I wouldn't get it if I wasn't going to use it. That would no. be, that's where it's- I wouldn't just buy it just to buy it. Yeah, that's where it gets wrong. When I go in to get it, I'll get some for Tara. She tells me, I have her on the phone. She's telling me what she needs, you know, and my mom can't always get out, can't get out now and get it. I'll get some for her. And so I usually am buying for three or four people when I find 20 boxes of cereal. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm- just hoarding the cereal and I'm going to keep it for 10 years, never use it, and then end up just throwing it away. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, if you're going to use it, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, if you use it for like a church to use to take to families in need, all these different kinds, if you're going to take meals to people, if you need to have a potluck, something for church, you know, and you need that much, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting uh, you know, because other people could have gotten up and come too. And you know what's interesting? What after Christmas, I mean, like three weeks after Christmas, there were still shelves of clearance stuff. For some weird reason, there's a most a majority of the people out there do not want to buy the stuff on sale. They mm -hmm. there's something about it that they just don't feel I it's right. Why. Some of them don't think if they buy something on clearance for a gift for Christmas next year they're not spending enough money or something. And so that makes the gift not worth as mm -hmm. much and all these different things. So, Hey, uh, you know, now let me say up front, some of the things she's going to say. She didn't want to say anything. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had been on so long guys. I missed you. And I have, have so much to say, but it's, it's your own conviction in your heart too. You know, people are convicted about different things and there's nothing wrong with that. So if you don't feel it's right, that's fine. Then you shouldn't do it. You know, I don't have a problem with it. Now, I don't think somebody, like I said, should go in and not use this stuff. But. Yep. All right, guys, this video is brought to you by our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. Up to 50% off right now, 35% off on our print books and 50% on our ebooks for our spring into savings sale. We are unable to have our St. Patrick's Day sale. So we are having our spring into savings sale for one week only. This is only going to be a week sale site. So if you guys want our cookbooks, easy recipes, get you in and out of the kitchen quick and recipes your family will love to eat. <laughs> All right, the next one is... You buy something, you bring it home, you eat part of it, and you don't like it, so you take it back to the store. Is that scamming the store, or are you being a frugal shopper? That's what I want you guys to tell me. What are you going to say? I say take it back every time. Now, I definitely take it back if it says on there, um, satisfaction guarantee, like all he used to, I don't know if they still do, used to not only get your, you got your money back, but 
you got to take the product back and I think they gave you another product also if you didn't like it I think is how it was I can't remember it's been 15 years since I shopped at Aldi but um if they have a satisfaction guarantee I definitely do because um the store brand is saying they're as good as the regular brand so they need to live up to that if they're saying they're as good as the regular brand. Well, if it has satisfaction guarantee, I agree with that. That you know you can even take if it, it back. doesn't, I take it back but anyway. If it doesn't, and I tried it, I figured that's just a chance that I took. So I don't. I take it back. If it's nasty, I'm like, I'm sorry, this is nasty. Because it could be just my taste buds that don't, you know, like it. And somebody else may think it's wonderful. So I don't know if that's right for me to do for the company or not. But if they have satisfaction guaranteed then you can. Um, let's see. Will they take it back though? Becky Ann says her giant eagle would even take the wrong cat food back. She bought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next one is getting multiple rain checks for a sell item. So let's say I go into my store and the item is out of stock. So I ask for a rain check. I go again and it's still out of stock. So I ask for another rain check is that, and there's no limit. If there's no limit, I don't. But is that scamming or are you saving money? Well, no, because if you if they say you get a rain check because you're going to be able to get it when you go in there next time. And so if they don't have it for you, there's nothing wrong with getting another rain check. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Everybody's saying, yeah, they would get the rain checks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like a pop quiz at school today. if you guys have comments or questions please post them in the comment section and mike will get them to me have i passed so far uh oh well my... we're not grading but oh. <laughs> okay using multiple phone numbers now to get the deals so if it says limit one per household then i usually don't use well i don't use um multiple phone numbers if it says limit one per, per customer, then I have no problem using multiple phone numbers. Um, I was trying to see on the ad here if there was an example. Uh, okay, so yeah, so here's an example. Let me show you this. Um, let's see, okay, hold on one second. Here we go, okay. So you can see right here, on the progressive soups over on the right it says limit one per household but over on the cheerios it says limit four products total well that's not limit per household so i have no problem sending every family member in to buy four cheerios if i'm in a stock up if i'm in a stock up week or whatever so that would be the difference there now i use two just because sometimes uh, like I'll go uh, to get something and I want the item and Tara isn't feeling good or she's not on that side of town. So I'll get the item for you. So I'll use the phone number for her to get hers and then I'll get, use mine for mine. Yeah. So, but that's a little bit kind of different. Yeah. Joyce says different people buying is fine. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I think. Yeah. The next one is, ooh, samples. Mm. Do you take more than one sample? If you go to Costco for lunch and you make the rounds <laughs> four or five times. What are they saying? Or <laughs> if you go at Christmas and the Chex Mix seasoning packets are there next to the Chex Mix. And it says, please take one, but you take 15. What would you do? Okay, I go to Wendy's once in a great while. And they have a basket of mints there that I love so much. And I just want to dig my hand in there and take a whole handful. But I get convicted of doing that. So I don't kind of take. Mints. Oh, they're really good. They're a little flag in a little package that has a flag on them. They're really yummy. I mean, are they soft? Or? Yeah, they're really soft. Oh, those are the dinner mints. Yeah, the dinner mints. And, you oh, could just go them. buy a bag of mints at Walmart. I could do that. For yeah, cents. I could. But, but so I wouldn't do that because I feel convicted taking a handful of them. Because I've had my own business. And... We would do stuff for customers and stuff. And that's not being fair, you know, to the business, really. That's, to me, not quite fair. So, 
What are yeah, they saying? They're kind of half and half. Paula half says she half. doesn't take 15. She takes 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one is, now this isn't groceries, but it's, it's food. Guys, hit the thumbs up if you love our videos, please, and share this video. Okay, you go to the restaurant, and you take your kids, and your kid is 14 years old, but you tell them he's 12. That's wrong. Oh! No, I wouldn't do that. I have never done that. I haven't either. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Mike, what was your experience with that? Do you want to share? That's almost like stealing a whole <laughs> meal is really, you know. Sure. Yeah, my uh, my grandmother used to try to get us when we were like fifteen to go in and say oh, we're twelve. And I'm like, I'm fifteen. Everyone thinks I look seventeen. This is just really not okay. But she would still tell them that I was twelve. I wouldn't say it, but like. <laughs> to me, that is just, that's not even a gray area. That's just flat out lying. Well, now here's the one. I don't think you have it on your list, but I'm going to add it on there. We went to a buffet. My husband, uh, years and years ago, we go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. And we saw, now she was a little old lady. She was my age. And so I kind of felt sorry for her. And, you know, we, and, and so I kind of understood but to go to a buffet, she had a huge tote purse and she would go get through the buffet, get a plate full of food, come back to her little table, sit down, and she would put all the food in her tote, go back, get another plate full, put it in her tote. And so I don't think that and thing is she didn't have a wait, waitress or anything coming to give her water or do anything. And then she got up and left. I don't think she even paid for the original meal. Because nobody brought her a ticket like, you know, they were doing everybody else or came to help her at the table. And so now something like that, I don't think that's right. You know, really, that's totally. Oh, no, that's flat out stealing. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Mike, you didn't have your mic on. So they want to hear again what happened to you when you were a kid. I didn't have it on? No. Nope. Is it on now? Okay. I think I turned yours off. Uh, yeah, my grandmother used to have us. She would get us to tell them. Well, when I was like 15, and everyone at school thought I looked older than 15. <laughs> like, you want me to tell them I'm 12? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them anything. But she would there be there trying to persuade them that I was 12, and I was really uncomfortable with that. <laughs> uh, well, that's a good point. Well, not what the are you teaching? Problem. What are you teaching the kids? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you make your kids feel? Does that embarrass them? There, there's a whole. Once you start doing something wrong like this. There's a whole snowball effect of how you're hurting your family, your children, teaching them wrong ways mm -hmm. and different things. So watch out for that. Whenever you're trying to decide if this is right or wrong, whether we should do this, what are you really teaching your kids? Well, I have the opposite problem. I was tall for my age growing up. Like oh, I yeah. grew to the height I am did. now. And so like at 10 or 11, I was already five foot five or something. And nobody believed that I was under 12 then yeah my so, son was the same way so we were almost ready to start taking id to show because they were younger the next one is charging on a credit card when you can't pay for it to get a good deal mm -mm. yeah she's in her apron hello kimmy she says Hi, kimmy. it's like those moms that were got on someone's door cam stealing all the halloween candy and the kids are watching them oh my goodness seriously I didn't see that one. Seriously, parents, really? Are your parents doing this kind of stuff? Stop it. Oh, my yeah. goodness, stealing all the Halloween candy when it's sitting on the fort porch. Well, first of all, why are you setting a whole bucket of Halloween candy on the porch? That's just stupid on the homeowner's part. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like leading kids into temptation. You know, you're not supposed to leave, lead somebody into temptation. And to me, that's leading kids. Trust me, I know. It's like leading them into temptation. I don't know. So on the credit card, everybody says, no, they shouldn't. You can send me the first ones, Mike. Um, I, I would not put it on. I wouldn't. Okay. Let me, let me, how do I say this? Okay. When we, I am not a Dave Ramsey fan of not using, I don't believe in not using credit cards. I have no problem using credit cards, but when we put things on the credit cards with the exception of one or two times, 
we always pay it off. Like we've, we've all, we never, we have paid it off with the exception of two times. And then it was only for a month carryover. So I'm not going to say I've paid it off every single time, but two times out of the last 30 years that I use a credit card every single month, I haven't, we've extended it over. And so um, if I find a good deal, I don't just put it on the credit card because it's a good deal because it's not going to be a good deal mm -mm. when you pay 29% interest yeah. to save 50 cents on something. You end up not saving money. It's not a savings like Tara said. It doesn't even make sense. So when I use my credit cards, for the most part, I make sure I have the money in the checking account to cover it right then. So yeah, Vicki says she pays her credit card within a week after charging it. Yeah, that mm -hmm. totally, I mean, I would um, not, I would not put that stuff on a credit card. And I don't think it's necessarily scamming, but it's scamming yourself. Like it's not scamming the company unless you declare bankruptcy, then it would be. But um, Karen says we have friends that charge up credit card buying four new TVs, a couple of gaming systems for the kids, expensive kitchen appliances, knowing they intended to file bankruptcy. Yeah, we yeah. had a family member do that, that, well, not of my family, of extended family, that they went and charged everything, guitars, amplifiers, all this kind of stuff. Well, I'm claiming bankruptcy. And then they did. Mm -hmm. Now that's stealing. I've known a couple of different people that that was just their habit. They would charge all this stuff up. And then the week after they were cleared after seven years or whatever it is, they would go out and buy this one couple bought two cars, one for each one of them that were like $50,000 cars, you know, and then they bought all this new stuff for the house. And it was just like a habit with them. They will take and buy expensive phones and cameras. And then they just declare bankruptcy. It was just a way mm -hmm. of life to, to keep declaring bankruptcy. I think you should not ever declare bankruptcy unless it's something beyond your control that you can't. Like I would pretty much say health. I would pretty much say medical is the only thing stuff, yeah. that should be allowed for bankruptcy. Maybe, maybe in divorce cases where the husband goes, you know, like my dad went and charged up all the credit cards. And then when they got divorced, mom ended up paying them. So I would say maybe in that case, I guess, but I would say the bankruptcy laws are way too lenient, mm -hmm. way too lenient. But see, I was even as hard as it was, I still was able to pay. Yeah. I didn't think it was fair to the companies. I've had my own business yeah. and I didn't think it was fair to the companies that we owed money to to just let them, you know, they had to eat that then. Yeah. And, and, but you didn't, did you make dad, did you make dad pay any of that? Mm -mm. Okay. So that's your fault for not making dad well, pay any of that. Because so, he didn't have any money to pay me. I know, but you didn't either. Well, I found you a way he on wasn't even trying. So what I did with that, now Tara thinks I didn't do anything. I needed the house was not finished being remodeled. I had so much work that needed to be done on the house before I could even sell it. So I made him come over and do, do the work on it for nothing for me. And he would come over and do that. So that's, and he came over and spent so many hours working on the business to help me out when I started the business. Okay. So see, in a way it wasn't cash that I got back, but because he, he just really didn't have the money to give me. Well, he had way more money than you did. Well, not when he first left. Yeah, but he's still he wasn't even working. I know, he, but he that's quit his working. Own fault. So, you know, how am I supposed to get money out of a, blood out of a turnip type things? But I did make him. I knew I wouldn't get the money from him. So that's why. And I also knew that he would um, try to get if I tried to get child support from him. I didn't do it because I knew he would work at jobs where he'd get paid under the table and wouldn't. They couldn't get him you know, anyway. And they, the laws back then, if a guy didn't pay child support back then, they didn't just, you know, they didn't bother to help the, the mom or the wife out or anything. So I thought knowing him, I knew he'd feel more guilty for not doing it. Even though he didn't do it, he'd still feel very guilty. So I used that guilt factor to get him to do the work for me is what it was. So. All right, guys. Spring into savings sale, 50% off our cookbooks right now. 
our ebooks are 50% off. Our print books are 35% off. Volume one and volume two is where to start. And then our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. Also, we still have a few planners left, undated planners, so you don't lose any days. 400 pages, 366 days to help you get organized. We still have some in stock. All right, let's get to your comments and questions. Amazing Grace says, I just got a spiral sliced ham at Kroger today for 89 cents a pound. Good job. She said, Tara would be so proud of me. She bought two. Good job. <laughs> yeah, if sure. you guys need ham recipes, go over to Super Easy Recipes because I just did a ham video, I think two days ago on using your Easter ham. And I was going to say too, our books, we have a whole list and a lot of ham recipes, but we yeah. also have in the back a leftover mm -hmm. index that has things you can do with leftover hands. We always say you can almost save the money you put pay for the book. You can save just the first week or two using it because we have so many ideas like that on what to do with the ham and different scallop potatoes. We have a list and we've got some good recipes to use for Easter too. So if you got the book, you know, be sure to look up the scallop potatoes and the ham and the different things, recipes yep. in there. Um, Connie says, everything I've learned from you has helped get us through some really tough times. My husband was hurt at work and was getting less income on work. Men's comp, eight months and one more month to go. We are making it. Good job. Oh, good. Teresa says, I'm saving money by shopping thrifty. Very good. Nice. Diana says, hello. She's so happy to see us. And Amazing <laughs> Grace is loving our color shirts. <laughs> Donna, if you're going to eat it, share it and donate it to... and or donate, then get it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're we basically it's, saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teresa, if you have the money, I take it. You snooze, you lose. Okay, so I'm just curious, guys. Type one, if you think it's you snooze, you lose. Type two, if you should leave some on the shelf. I'm curious to see on a on a poll here real quick. Um, let's see. We have... Lori, don't, or she forgets to look in the clearance section. Yeah, I hit it every time, although I'll be telling you, Walmart has a clearance section, and the actual clearance section isn't that great, but then you go into the shelves, and they actually have better things on the shelves. So, oh, it's divided between ones and twos. Wow. Very interesting. Hmm, that's interesting to see. All right, um... Bounty in the Badlands, we aren't big cereal eaters, but if I was, I'd take as much as I think we'll eat. If that all then, if that's all of it, then so be it, yeah. Christine, hello. Hello. For me, I would take two, I would leave two boxes and take the rest. There you go. Joyce, getting the best deals and savings dollars is work. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Bert says, I would take what I need and leave some for others, especially during a crisis. Virginia, I think most people overspend and are broke after the holidays. I smile and say more for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Jack, probably true. Jack know. says, if you buy new gifts every time you give one, I will go broke. I buy clearance and estate sales, secondhand stores. Did you go to that sale today? Mm -hmm. Oh, Cindy, I've been buying ground turkey and quickly putting it in the freezer, which when I get it out, it's bad. Huh. Mm. Did your freezer... Uh, defrost or something. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Amy says she'll take it back unless you use 75% of it. Yeah. I don't, if I use all, well, I mean, yeah, if I use all of something, I won't take it back. But like if it's what chocolate syrup and I use a quarter of a cup of it and it's nasty, then I would take it back. You know, some people take and go out to eat and they'll order a steak or something, eat the almost the whole thing, and then say, well, this wasn't cooked right, and send it back. That type of thing yeah. isn't right either. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. If, uh, oops, wait a minute. Where'd it go? If someone else is also there when I am, I would share with the other person, Donna. So you know what I actually had happen to me one time? I was standing at the Clarence Bakery aisle, this was 10 years ago, so I was, what, 35, 40. I'm not kidding. This 70-year-old little old lady. I'm standing there looking at the clearance spreads, and she literally comes up and goes. <laughs> and I mean, she was just like that. 
Yeah, I've seen and people I do that. And I shoved her back. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I'm sorry. Look, I'm they sitting do. there minding my own I business, know. and you come up and shove me out of the way because you want the 20 cent donuts? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked at how many little old ladies aren't very nice. They're you just know. flat out rude. Yeah, they really are. And I told her, I said, Excuse you. And she just looked at me like nothing happened. I was just like, okay. Uh, ow, shouldn't have done that. Uh, Cheryl, if there's something wrong with it, I take it back. If not, give it to someone else. Yep, that's fine. Barbara, hello, Barbara. She says, Barbara. I take a lot of things back to Weiss or Weiss if they're inferior. Good. Francis, mm -hmm. I look at half price shelves every time I go to the grocery store. Yep. Yeah. Teresa, um, okay, so now here's another question. Type one if you guys shop clearance and type two if you never buy anything on clearance. I'm curious to see how many people buy stuff on clearance and how many don't because I'm shocked at the number of people who don't buy stuff on I clearance. I was like, wow, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, a lot, of a lot of people shop on clearance. We've got good viewers. <laughs> um, although Cindy never does. Hmm. Very mm -hmm. interesting. I'm curious, Cindy, why you don't. That would yeah, be curious. Just to see the mindset behind that. Lori says she doesn't take it back. She offers it to her neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> so you not like your neighbor. <laughs> right. Teresa says she made the Sloppy Joes off our video on Super Easy Recipes out of our Dining on a Dime mm -hmm. Volume 1. Guys, it's on sale. 35% off right now for our spring sale. Mm -hmm. um, also, on the books... We have stuff like for Easter baskets. If you're doing an Easter basket for the kids, we have like a sidewalk chalk and Play-Doh and bubbles. And what are some of the other things that you can put in the kids' basket if you want to? And we also have a whole section on gift um, gift baskets mm -hmm. to give you some ideas. If you want to put something other than candy, you know, in, the, in their baskets, then we've got a lot of... Also... Um in dining volume one, Francis says she made the biscuits the other day. Those are Mike's baking powder biscuits. Mm -hmm. She said, so good. He tested and tested those to get the perfect ones. He did. <laughs> We're uh, Vicky says she never uses more than one number. Fourth gal says only one number. Bird says I generally use one number. Uh, Bounty in the Badlands says not many stores here issue rain checks. Yeah. Rain checks are getting to be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. So I totally get that. Our still does, but I don't know how much longer they're going to be doing it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Vicki, Sam's Club. I was there last week. They were promoting spice on shrimp. I bought the spice and she gave me another shrimp. Oh, for a sample, I guess, probably. That would mm -hmm. make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's if totally they, fine. If they give it to mm -hmm. you, you know, and say, oh, take two, they're small or something like that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just talking. Some people will take, you know, a huge I don't know. thing of it and <laughs> everything. So um, let's see. Robin, I often grab six or eight forks or mayo. I get deli meat, so I grab some condiments. Well, I don't know if it's just you. I don't know that you need six or eight forks, but... <laughs> Okay. I mean, I have no problem getting condiments for what you're eating, though. Teresa, no, I'm not putting food on a credit card. It's only emergencies. You can send me the next one, Mike. Uh, it's just for me. Michelle says she loves progressive chicken noodle soup. She likes it when she's sick. Good. Mm -hmm. Vicki says, I never have to take more than one. I never have taken more than one sample. I have taken more than one sample, but they were okay with it. So it wasn't like I was... Um, just sitting there grazing on the <laughs> whole sample thing. Um, Wanda says, what about counting your husband? Well, I better not do that. What about counting your husband as a child? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, tell him what you did when you were a senior in high school. Oh. Turn on your mic. Hi, uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> uh, I was a senior in high school and uh, we, I was with some friends at Denny's and I asked, oh, hey, can I get the senior discount? I'm a senior. <laughs> and they actually thought it was pretty funny. So they said yes. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. Oops. 
Vicky says, never want to use your kid to save money. Place that teaches them to be honest. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. use them for honest saving money, but not for being dishonest. Um, and I know a lot of people are just flat out dishonest with stuff like that. And then know? the kids grow up and they wonder what went wrong, you know, yeah. a lot of times. Sneaking into movie theaters and stuff like that. Um, Sneaker says, same here. We know two people who plan on filing consumer bankruptcy, I guess. Charge up their credit cards for a vacation before they do. Dear, we're doing this all wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should just charge up our credit cards to the wazoo and claim bankruptcy and then just start all over again in seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding for all of you who are going to take that out of context. Because, <laughs> you know, there's going to be a bloodbath in January. <laughs> Goodness, people, people, people. Aww. Karen, we have friends that charged up credit, or wait, Donna, I heard of stories that people rent up their credit card knowing they will declare bankruptcy. Yeah, apparently this is really common, I guess. It is. And you know what people don't understand? They think these big businesses, it's not going to bother them or hurt them if they declare bankruptcy, you know, and, and do this all the time. But what they don't realize is it hurts us when they do that. And in the long run, it hurts them because what happens is those companies, they've got to make that money back somehow. And so what they're going to do is they're going to ride, raise the prices of the items that they sell and or even just make their prices higher to cover those types of things. That's part. We talk about inflation and everything, but those types of things uh, is what causes the money to go up. You know, anytime we sin, even something like this, when you're doing you're st this stealing, basically, you know, if you're doing bankruptcy <coughs> like this all the time, that's stealing. And any type of sin, you don't just hurt yourself, you hurt everybody else around you, you know, and people just do not understand that. And that's why I hate to hear people taking doing bankruptcy because they're being wrong to other people and it's not right. Or he says, if you don't have the money to pay it off at the end of the month, it wasn't meant to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um Tammy is happy to see us. Thank you. Bird, I know some people use their credit card for food during the recession, but couldn't meet the monthly payment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Food is so incredibly cheap here that there's no reason to put it on credit card at all. I mean, it is. you can literally live on beans and rice if you really wanted to and a few spices for, I mean, 50, 25 to $50 a month if you needed to. I mean... Really, we it's we have a twisted hard. sense of stuff when we say, well, I just can't afford food. I saw a lady today on, on YouTube and she was just somebody was giving her some cash for something and she was just sobbing and crying. She said, oh, it's just been so hard and I'm so grateful for this cash. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, she can hardly buy food or something like that, the way she was going on. And she said, I'll take all of this money. It was like $200. And she said, I can get my son a great big, huge graduation party now. You know, so we go from sobbing and crying that how life my heart, how hard my life is for and how desperate I am. And people just don't have a rational thinking of what they needs and wants. You know, it's like it, the most important thing she was thinking about is having a big graduation party. I gave a graduation party to you. And I didn't spend hardly any money at all. And do you feel deprived? Yes. I oh, <laughs> that's what you're going to therapy for. You think maybe yes, you're gonna I'm have still to. in therapy. You're still thirty five years later. <laughs> I didn't even give your brother anything at all. So now, what do you, how do you feel? <laughs> no, I mean people have just way overspent. It's yeah, they so just ridiculous. They have no, Especially it's not parents. rational thinking yeah. as far as money goes and groceries and stuff. Yeah. Now. Especially parents, it's gotten so out of hand. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Nancy says she enjoyed the ham video. Thank you. Mm. Um, Gail says Piggly Wiggly has 88 cents a pound for ham. Very good. We don't have hams on sale here yet. Wanda, my, the ham in the video on Super Easy Recipes was actually from Christmas. So, <laughs> Wanda, my sister was 5'6", at age 12. I was 6. Our parents were older than most. And many people assume she was my mom. <laughs> oh no I'm still gonna be in her body about that yes. yeah i totally mm -hmm. get that 
Uh, Vicky, I charged everything every week on my credit card. They pay me rewards. I pay it back every week. I'm totally okay with yeah. that. Yeah, as long as you're paying it back, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, with I don't care what Dave Ramsey says on this. Yeah. There are some people like me. I just don't spend the money. I wouldn't spend the money more using a credit card than I would with cash because I don't buy things I don't need or specifically want and have it in mind and have the money saved up as a want. Mm -hmm. So, and everybody says, oh, have cash in hand. And no, I have never spent more. When I go to the grocery store, yeah, I'll stock up if I see a clearance item. I don't stick to the list. That's stupid. I think one of the stupidest, stupidest pieces of advice that people tell people is stick to your list when you go to the grocery mm -hmm. store. If I stuck to my list, I wouldn't be able to buy a hundred pounds of ground beef for a dollar a pound when I found it on sale the day after New Year's. That and plan a menu for two or three or a month, weeks ahead of time. I wouldn't time. be able to take yeah. advantage of the sales that they're having now. And so um, it's all about your mindset and how you're spending the money. So that, that advice just makes me so angry because people are losing out on really being able to save money. Like I only spend $400 a month for the four of us for groceries. Why? Because when chicken is on sale in January for $1.47 a pound, I buy four months worth, fill up my freezer, and I don't have to buy chicken for four months. So then the other months, I'm not spending $400. I'm spending $325. I'll spend $500 one month and $325 the next month. And it all averages out to $400. But I we eat really well because I'm able to buy that stuff on sale. Well, mine just automatically gets paid for every month. I don't even have to. It's just in the bank. They take it out of the bank, you know. And so I've got enough in there for in the bank to cover like a year's worth of credit card stuff for the, if I don't even put anything else in the bank, you know what I mean? Thank you, Kimmy, for agreeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's what friends are for, isn't it? Hmm? Um, just a second. My two sons are listening to you right now. They love using the cookbooks to bake, especially the brownies. Oh, like no big fudge cookies on their own. Very good. I you go, it. guys. I know. You I go. love it when the, our boys do that. <laughs> that great. is so good. <laughs> I love it. I've said this a million times. I love it that our, the young guys just love our well, cookbook. And it <laughs> makes me so tickled that they do. That's funny. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Thank you, Kimmy, for everyone reminding us. To do that, that helps the algorithm say you guys like us. Um, Donna, I'm going through depression years ago and racked up credit card. I could have declared bankruptcy, but chose to pay the cards off with a debt consolidation company. It took me four years to pay off. That's great. Very good. Mm -hmm. Donna, I feel if I declared bankruptcy, I would have stolen all the things I bought. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the way I felt. Yeah. Kimberly, I'm just waiting for the sales after Easter. Looking forward to them. Very good. You know, I, I hate to say this. I really am... Not wanting to do anything for Easter this year. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, can we just be done with everything for a while? <laughs> I know I, I shouldn't be that way, but man, I'm... Don't forget to get the sales after Easter, though, because that'll be the last candy haul between now and Halloween. So yep. that's going to have to so be... get your bunnies, because actually my video on Friday is coming out talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see... Diana says the shepherd pie from volume one. She made it tonight. That's her mm. favorite. Okay. That's the one of the foods that I really miss being gluten-free. I have not found a good gluten-free um, dumpling recipe for shepherd's pie that I would love to make. Mm. So if you guys have one, send, me, send it to me. Um, Amy, our local store will check the app to see if products are in stock for rain checks. I wonder if you could huh. take your bread recipe and put on top. For just some kind of a bread or crust thing. I don't know. I could do cornbread. I guess it's not the same as dumplings, though. Yeah. Dumplings are good. I like yeah. I liked my dumplings. I don't know. Tanya, I didn't save on anything today. My door broke and I burned cookies. Oops. That's not good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, I was yes, was it yesterday or the day before? I was filming. And um thankfully I don't think it's cracked all the way through. It doesn't appear to be, but I'm afraid to take it off. But the, tr the wind was blowing and I was out and look what I did to yeah, my phone. Um, whoops, wait a minute. 
Can you guys see? Oh, there. Can you see what I did to my phone? <laughs> I think it's just the cover. I think. But I'm afraid to take the cover off if I drop it again. It looks, I can't tell if I actually damaged the camera or not. So we'll see Friday when the new cover thing gets here. But <laughs> yeah, talk about saving money and doing stuff. Um... <laughs> Lori, when I see the thumbprint, I thought you two might be live in the store. I thought that would be a riot. The thumbprint. The thumbprint. The thumbnail. The thumbnail. Oh, the thumbnail. Oh, that, uh -huh. yes. No, we're not. Oh, is Lori here in Sheridan, maybe? <laughs> oh, are you, Lori? Oh. Yeah. Did you see me going live at Walmart? Oh, man. <laughs> that could be, that could go bad. <laughs> That could go oh. really bad on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> you should have um, seen us when Tara was on bed rest with Ellie. We had to go to the store. If you can imagine, she had to be in a wheelchair. So I had to go get a wheelchair to bring to the car to put her in the wheelchair. And then we go shopping only once a month for two households. And so she had to push a car and then I was pushing her and she was pushing the car. And then we had BJ in a car seat. It was like this long train and the two of us trying to get our shopping done at Walmart and the different places was just like a living nightmare. Um, Shepherd's pie and the gluten free. I think I, yeah, it's mashed potatoes for the topping, not, not mm. dumplings. I thought it was, but I couldn't remember for sure. Yeah, so. mashed potatoes is a good one. Um, let's see. South Loop River. I am a two because of 2020. Our small town, they always ask us just to take what we need. Yeah, I mean, if it's like, if there's a limit or if it's, yeah. if it's something that's like, the whole COVID and the whole, and the store says you have a limit on two toilet papers. I'm not going to take all the toilet paper yeah. off the shelf. They're not going to let you take it out of the store anyway. You'll get in a fight as it is. But, you know. Um, or if they have something that the whole town, like we lived in a town one time and they had commodities for people, for the whole town to come in and get, you know, then you just don't take everything. Yeah. That's a different thing. Shay says, I actually feel weird that I tried to return something to Amazon that was $85 decent wire wicker baskets they were just too wide for the space i needed they refunded the money but told me not to return them yes because that's what called a third party seller and what happens is that seller has to pay the shipping back and it's cheaper for them to just let you keep the product than to pay for the shipping, pay for the shipping back the problem is you don't always know for sure there's probably some way but i don't know how you can tell if it's a third party shipper so but amazon gives them credit for it too amazon eats it Amazon eats the. Oh, okay. Mike but, says Amazon. But I know what she was saying. She so. she feels guilty enough just doing something like yeah. that when she was trying to. Uh, I think it's Jane. Our living room carpet is twenty three years old, and we have stopped all home products projects until our mortgage is paid off. Our kitchen cabinets are sixty two years old. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Shannon depends on the item, how much money I have, and if anyone is close i have bought it all i have left some on the shelf and i've asked if the person next to me was wanting some yeah i mean that's fine yeah nancy i found several gluten-free clearance items the other day we bought all of them and we have used up in six to nine months yep can i tell my tip the second mike can you send me the next ones go ahead um i i was going to tell you guys a tip that i used today i went and they had um camel soup on sale for this this past week and I went to go get some the very first day that it went on sale. And the expiration date on it was December of this year. And I thought, well, I was going to put it in my prepping pantry type thing. And I thought, well, that's not a very long expiration date. And I knew canned soup, you know, can go a lot longer normally. And I, so I only got, I think I got two cans and took it home. And I thought, I'm just going to wait on this and see. So then the day before the sale ended, I went back again and I looked and here it was dated for 2026. They put, you know, fresh stock out. So you might be kind of careful when these sales come on, out, you know, a lot of times the very first day of the sale, they'll put in the low expiration date, you know, shorter expiration date stuff out first to get 
everybody to buy that first before they put the, the longer expiration. So especially if you're trying to do it for stockpiling your, your pantry and things, uh, you might want to wait until the day before. Now it depends, like if it's meat and stuff, sometimes they get, when they sell out of it, you can't get any more, but usually canned goods, they a lot of times restock. So I just thought I would warn you guys on that, or you might think about that. Debbie says, I was recently shoved out of the way by an older woman who cleared the shelf of condensed soup that was on sale. I was so shocked that I just stood there and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, that's another thing. If there's somebody else right wow. next to me looking at the same eye yeah, and that I'm looking, yeah. then you don't. You know, you got to use common sense here and you don't be mean. And that's why I say it's more motivation and more, you know, you got to be kind of kind in all of this. <laughs> oh jesus has to come with me shopping let's just <laughs> <laughs> guys our cookbooks are 35 percent off for the print books if you need to start somewhere start with volume one and volume two they go together but they're totally different recipes easy recipes get you in and out of the kitchen quick with ingredients you already have on hand and our gluten-free dairy-free edition is um also 35% off and our undated planners. If you need planners, we still have a few left, 400 pages, 366 days a year. So you could start now and not lose any pages. Diana, I use your tips for saving up some grocery money for future sales. I bought butter on sale at Thanksgiving and have not bought any butter at full price since Very and now. Good. It's on sale for Easter. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. ours go on sale next week because I'm starting to get a little low on butter. I have noticed, guys, they're cutting back on the sales. Mm -hmm. They are starting to cut back on the sales. Well, so when you find a good price, are a little get bit it. higher, starting to eke their way up just a little bit. Yeah, the prices mm -hmm. are going up. So, like this week's ad, they've got two seventy-seven for spare ribs. It used to be a dollar ninety-nine or less. Um, although they have London broil, which is four seventy-seven. That's well, actually, that's about. It used to be three ninety-nine. Oh, look at. Yeah, but that's quarters. So they've got chicken dumpsticks and quarters for $1.47, but they're 88 that, cents at Walmart. Yeah, so that's not cheap. Uh -uh, so that's not saying. a good deal. Uh -uh, that's yeah. not a good deal at all. That's what And I'm like saying. milk used to be 97 cents and now it's $1.17. Mm -hmm. So yeah, prices are going up. So if you find a good deal, get it stocked up because it's happening. It is happening. This is why I told you two years ago, prices aren't bad yet. You need to be stocking up now before they are. Um, Kimberly, I try to avoid conflict when people are like that. I will just walk away because people are crazy today. You never know what they're going to do. Yeah, but I'm crazier. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> um, Kimberly also says I'm getting a pound of butter this week. I got a pound of butter a week all year because I upgraded. My rewards cards at the gas station. Well, there you go. Mm. Special offer. Frances says the biscuits that she, oh, the biscuits she made were the baking mix biscuits, but those mm. are good too. Mm -hmm. I test that one quite a bit to get that one right too, because you'd be surprised. Baking mix, if you don't get the right ratio, it doesn't taste very good. Mary Ellen, if I find something in clearance I really use, I buy it all. Mm -hmm. Sandra, lately most of the clearance items are junk at King Supers and Safeway. There you go. Okay, my friend and myself drive an hour and a half, split the gas, go grocery shopping to Aldi's and two other grocery stores. We buy a month's worth of food. Yep, that's, that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Christine says, I save my kids' baskets and get some toys and candy from the dollar store and repeat. Yep. Yeah, I I never bought a new basket for the kids at all. We just use the same one over Mine and over again. The same Even the same grass and everything in there. 25 <laughs> years, we've had the same ones. <laughs> Darlene, I make your banana bread all the time. Thank you. Mm. Volume one. Cynthia says, my family love the whoopie pies in volume two, right there. The Amish have nothing on us. <laughs> um, the banana bread, I don't know if a lot of, I don't know if we have it in there on the recipe or not. That originally was um, my recipe and my mom's recipe. No, uh -oh. oh, that's no, not the banana bread? No, that's fine. But what I do with the banana bread, whether it's that one or otherwise, I take and make it into, well, I guess a lot of people would call them muffins, but I would put vanilla frosting on them. Mm -hmm. So they would be banana cupcakes. And yeah. so. Uh, now we do have banana cake that I think was either yours or grandma's. Yeah. The, in there. I never you made it into a cake before. Must have been grandma's then. And so uh, those are really handy to have if you need a dessert for something. 
instead of just having a plain old muffin or the plain mm -hmm. old bread and you want something more desserty, just put some, make them into muffins and use in the cupcake things yep. and put vanilla frosting. That's really good. Um, and the original banana bread recipe is in here. That's the one I got from my neighbor when I first started out. And it's in here also, but I have the variations in I was going to say, there's so, lots of stuff you can add to banana bread, I actually too. got that on my to-do list for a video. Mm -hmm. Um, And Paula says, on a side note, I watched their soap, your dish soap video. I took the chance and bought. <laughs> took the chance. She didn't <laughs> trust me. She had to take a chance because she didn't trust me. And bought the Walmart dish soap. And yes, it's just like Donna. I told you so. It's really the best. Thanks for your help. Wait till you guys see my laundry soap test. In the last two days, I've done 40 loads of laundry. <laughs> and my laundry detergent test has really been eye-opening, let me tell you. Elaine says, so it's considered false advertising if the store never got something the flyer shows on sale. It is, but here's what happens. So like our store, our Ridley's here, which is a local market, like they'll have two, mm -hmm. two on the shelf. And so I get there for the 40 pounds of bacon for $60 and I get one of the two that they have, or I get two of the two that they have, <laughs> but then that's it. So they actually had it on the shelf. Yeah, it's see just what they, they do. The they just the have they just have a couple of yeah. items. Jan says running late. Just got back from a day in Billings. Hello, but she bought all. But I brought all my snacks and water with me. Very good. Very good. Lori, for the month of February, I challenged myself to only shop the clearance aisles at the grocery store, and I went from spending two nineteen to eighty seven fifty. That is great. Yeah, job. that's really good. And on the snacks, it'll be spring vacation. If you're taking a trip, be sure to take snacks with you and don't, you know, buy stuff all the time on the way and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Lorraine says, my good friend grabbed each of us a Dollar Tree chips and water bottles and went into the movie. Actually, several people say they've sucked food into the So here's the thing. That's how the theater makes their money is off the concessions. They don't make the money off of the movie. They make the, the money off of the concessions. But it's so overpriced. I'm like, seriously? But they must make enough that of other people who are suckers to do that. I just won't buy it then mm -hmm. if I think it's too expensive. But Bethany, I help teach special ed how to get around the grocery store looking for prices, sales. I've had issues at one store where old people are very disrespectful and and stopped going to that store. I know. I know. I just. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're disabled. My yeah, goodness. Yeah, to the disabled kids and things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Wanda saying on my pods laundry video, she said, Tara, there's no child proof products, just adult proof products. I was so mad. Oh, I am I not hate kidding. that. I have I... trouble with those things. And I do, I'm thinking. I edited it out how much of a struggle I had with that. I edited out like five minutes worth of footage trying to get that stupid thing open. I'm like, I should not have to go to a website to watch a movie to open laundry detergent. Are you kidding me? I was trying to get a container of something. Oh, orange juice open the other day with a little peel around plastic thing. I thought I'm going to have to go over to Mike and the boys and have them open my orange juice for me. It's getting so bad and there's no reason for it. There really isn't. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're stupid enough to allow your kids to eat laundry detergent, you should have your kids taken away in the first place. Now I totally get it. Kids, kids do stupid things all the time. I get that. And they'll get into stuff. I get that. But for this to be as big of a problem as it supposedly was, parents need to be putting this stuff up. Mm-hmm. I read a thing. You guys have maybe seen it on the internet. It showed a tag on a pair of kids' pajamas and on the tag, the, how to launder the tag and, or launder the pajamas and everything. And it said, before laundering, take child out of pajamas. I'm thinking, you know, that I is so that true. Out. They, I mean, it was actually on a laundry label. And I'm thinking it's gotten that bad. It really is getting scary. So... You 
Let's see. Tanya, I know someone who had lived in their house over 30 years and still owe. They use their credit cards and refinance their house when they can't afford to pay the bills. Oh I know. They say they I will know. owe forever. I know my chiropractor said that she's going to be 65 before student loans are paid off. Mm -hmm. I'm like, seriously? I mean, this she was like 27 or 28 probably at the time. I'm like, this is so pitiful. Value Badlands, I'm old school, raised to believe bankruptcy, being on unemployment welfare when you were able body get something uh, was something to be ashamed of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack, if you can't afford food, then you can't afford clothes and other things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Kimmy from She's in Her Apron, agree not sticking to your list is a great deal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, Dave wants, Ramsey wants you to use a debit card, but they're more vulnerable to theft from your bank. Now, Dave Ramsey says, no, it's not. And I don't know. But here's the thing. If I'm going to get rewards points on my credit card, I might as well get something out of it because mm -hmm. I pay it off. I have the money in the bank. It's not like I use my credit card as a, you know, whatever. So if anything, I spend less on my credit card because I don't want to um, accidentally spend more than I have. But Mary got smoked ham, lunch meat for $1.44 a pound. Very good. Mm. Normally it's $10 a pound. Yeah, I would have stocked yeah. up on that. Vicki, I use those cash envelopes that Dave talks about. They are a no for me. More trouble than they're worth. Oh, my oh, goodness. Don't I even get me started on yeah, that. I yeah. hate the envelope system. Carissa, my my clothes are now clearance usually. Yes. Clearance or thrift stores for us. Beth, I think stick to your list means don't get lots of impulse purchases like Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like she mentioned Oreos specifically. <laughs> Kimberly, still have two turkeys. I do too. I need to eat one. I'm going to buy ham if it goes on sale after Easter. Very good. Vicki, I write a list on my grocery needs, but still buy the deals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a list when I go to the store, but I don't stick to my list because that's just an awful Because they way. used to teach all the time in, to, in order to save money and be frugal, you had to just only do what you had on your list and nothing more. And that really was a horrible way to do it. Sandy says, I say remove all warning later labels and let nature take care of it. <laughs> I know. I, know. <laughs> I says, totally she agree. got a new iron and it says, do not iron clothes while on body. Sad. Oh, oh, yeah. But you know, I've actually known people to do that. They didn't want to take their shirt off or something. And they would take, I'm thinking, I do enough ironing. I'm just thinking, oh my goodness. Well, how about you just buy clothes that don't need ironing if you're going to have to iron them on your body? My goodness. <laughs> Cynthia made sweet muffins today. That's mom's recipe. Add blueberries right there. Mm -hmm. It's a family staple. Tanya, we are having the same thing for Easter as we did for Christmas. Box chicken wings. <laughs> hey, they say make it easy. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Uh, yeah. Mm. Donna, have you heard about the new saying, boogie broke, buying luxuries you can't afford, keeping up with the Joneses, brother? Yeah. Lane says, my husband, husband loves our shake and bake. Thank you. He never liked the box one. I always keep it in the fridge for a quick chicken tenders dinner recipe. Yes. We've got so many weird recipes. And I don't want to say weird in a bad way. But just like people don't know we have shake and bake in there. And it saves people a lot of money. And then we have things on the other end, uh, like the skunk. Oh, you guys, we skunk have got the smell skunk remover. smell remover in there. Every spring, and that's probably, well, the dog's barking is our number one video, but every spring, the skunk smell remover is And I get video. more comments on the web website uh, that I answer with people on the skunk thing, too. It, it's the best recipe that actually works. Um. Okay, just a second. Um, you did on my email. Oh, okay. Did you ask her if it's Eastern or? Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry guys, we had an important email we were waiting to um get to. Okay. Um, try to avoid conflict when people are like that. Oh, wait. Uh, oops. My, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Still have two turkeys. Got that one and the muffins. And Lori says she would pay to see me live at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. I just... 
saw one of our viewers at Walmart the other day. <laughs> <laughs> she was really nice. Mm -hmm. She's from, um, what is that town? Oh, good. Buffalo? Grief. The next one. Starts Story? with a K. Oh. No. Uh, okay. Mike, what's the next town Cal after? Uh, Cal Kearney. After Buffalo, going to Colorado. Casey. 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 Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I know the name of this town. And if um, you guys see us, if you're hearing Sharon and you see us, stop us and say hi. We love saying hi to you guys and meeting you guys. So. Um, although, tell me right away you're a viewer so I don't sit there yeah. and try to wreck my yeah. brain for half an hour figuring out where I know you from I and know. I've never I, seen you before. I know. So be, oh, hi. How are you? And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness. How do I know her? I have literally had people have 15 to 20 minute conversations with me. And they never told me, like, we've never met in person before. <laughs> like, okay, do I know you? Well, um, we do love talking to you guys. Susan, shepherd's pie is gluten-free, isn't it? So shepherd's pie can be gluten-free if you use mashed potatoes, which is the one that I use in um, my gluten-free dairy-free. I can't remember if I use biscuits or mashed potatoes in, in volume one, but some people put, like, a biscuit dough on top. Mary Ellen, when we were newlyweds, we had a guy next door who would knock the door to tell me what was on sale at the grocery store. Then he would tell me to stock up. <laughs> well, that's a nice neighbor. <laughs> a little weird if you <laughs> don't really know him that well. Um, Mary Ellen puts tater tops on top of her um, shepherd's pot pie. pie and shepherd's pie. That's oh, good. that would be a good idea. Yeah, be easy. Diana, yesterday. Rochester had drinking water problem for the second time. I had water because I follow you. Good job. <laughs> oh, good. Because uh, I don't know. I don't know how many people or I mean, how many times our city has left people without water. It's been this place. Well, when I lived in Springfield, my, my well kept freezing, but Aside from living in the country on a well, this is the city that has had the most water outages. Yeah, I think so, that I've ever had. It's unbelievable. Vicki, that's why she hates digital coupons. They have a limit on them. Yes. No, I hate those things. Can you send me the next one, Mike? Melissa, I made meatloaf from Dining One tonight. Thank you. Mm. And I never liked meatloaf until I found this recipe. Because mom never made meatloaf because she doesn't like meatloaf. She doesn't like things mixed together. And so I found this meatloaf because my dad would make meatloaf when we go see him. And <laughs> it was gross. So I didn't know I liked meatloaf until I found my recipe. And it was delicious. Uh, she said, um, she, I really put my foot in it. That means it tasted great. For those who don't know, okay, yeah, I didn't would take that as an insult. <laughs> and apparently, it's a compliment. Okay, and Deborah loves all our books. Thank you. Thirty five percent off right now, guys. Um, let's see if Mike's got the next ones to me yet. Just one second, he said. I did um, have a good meatloaf recipe that I didn't give to Tara to put in there, and I used to fix. She probably just doesn't remember. But I didn't put it in there because, first of all, I didn't use ketchup in it. I don't like the ketchup in the meatloaf. And so that's why I didn't use regular recipes. But I found a, a one in an 1800s cookbook, and you didn't put ketchup in it. And what you had to do was you wrapped it in a brown paper bag. And I baked it in the oven in a brown paper bag. And that was the best meatloaf I've ever, ever tasted. And I loved it. But I could just imagine what the readers would think if they had to wrap something in a brown paper bag and put it in the oven, you know, they'd worry about it catching on fire. It, it doesn't do that. So it'd be like using parchment paper or well, something. You could just put it in a pan. Well, no, there was something about putting it in the brown paper bag that made the taste, did something that steamed it like instead of just baked it. It had more steam and stuff. So. Um, I bet it did do something. <laughs> it was good though. It was really good. Okay, next one. Um, I hope the stores have good Easter sales, says Donna. Yes, mm -hmm. me too. I'm I'm not having a lot of hope, though. The sales have really not been good this year. Okay, as a matter of fact, my freezer is like half full, and I try to never get below half because I just don't want to ever be below half. And um, 
I need to be stocking up, but nothing's been on sale for very good. Kay says, I grocery shop an hour and a half away, only sale ads. Yep. Good. Um, yep. That's we good. We do too. Mm -hmm. Used to do that when we lived in Idaho. Sandra, I hate those digital coupons. I always find mistakes on my receipts. I know. I do too. I'm always going back. Every time I go to Walt Albertsons, almost, I would say 90% of the time I go to Albertsons, they mess it up. So Gail says I'm older and I have better insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I love that one. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Louise got baby back ribs for $1.99. That's good. <laughs> Mary Jane says, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I trimmed my <laughs> fangs. And Not for before. some reason, no. all the little, all the little pieces are, get, are getting in my mouth and they're falling. I must, they must be falling out of my hair. I don't know. Um, Becky, <laughs> you stick, keep sticking your tongue out at everybody. No. Thought your mother um, taught you better. Let's see. Uh, Mary Jane says all the Easter candy in Illinois is high, and we only have a few different stores. Um, hello, Rob. Good to see ya, Louise. I got Lando Lakes one pound butter for two ninety nine. Limit five. Good. Yeah, I'm finding for butter three dollars a pound is about is about the limit now for a good deal. Wanda. Oh yeah. I did that one. Melissa, I make homemade butter with heavy whipping cream and pampered chef. Yeah. But mm -hmm. my goodness, homemade whip, heavy whipping cream is $5. Mm -hmm. That's crazy expensive butter. If you do that, that's like probably, let's see, let's say you use the four, a quart of whipping cream. I can't imagine you get a pound of butter, maybe 10 ounces. Maybe that would be super expensive. Uh, Sue says the cookbooks are great hostess gifts for the family members hosting oh, Easter. Thank you for That's letting everybody idea. know that. Yeah. Yeah. Order them now and you should have them, should have them by Easter possibly. Uh, Cindy, when you order for grocery pickup and it's out, but you go into the store and they have it, this happens to me every mm. darn toot and time I go to Walmart. It makes me so mad. They're like, we're out of cabbage. I'm like, you, I know you're not out of cabbage. I know you're not out of cabbage. <laughs> and they never are. And I go in and I have complained and complained about, well, we just restocked stock the store at different times. Please. <laughs> Sandra, I have had that experience. Also, I think that shoppers shop and the stockers are restocking during the day. Yeah, I think what happens is the shoppers just can't find it on the shelf. So they put it as out of stock. Tammy, food is more expensive when you put it on a credit card. Oh, yeah. Don and I have started using one tablespoon of powdered Tide in our Speed Queen washing machine. Clothes come out just as clean. Mm -hmm. And we are saving detergent. Yay, you took Pistol's advice. Yeah. And I hear Speed Queens are really good, too. It's speed, yeah, Speed Queens are good. And I was telling Tar just what day or the other day or something about my mom has the whitest, brightest clothes you've ever seen. She did. And she, for years, ever since I was little, she only used a small, tiny dab of um, laundry detergent for years. We always have. Yep. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can send me the next ones, Mike. Um. Let's. Are we stocking up on Easter chocolates on sale? Joanne wants to know. Easter chocolate is everywhere. If it's on sale, um, I get it the day after so, Easter. Yeah. yeah, I go in and get a ton of it. Yeah. Um, Carissa, I'm in the process of bankruptcy, divorce, super illness, MCTD. I don't know what that is, but yes, I feel guilty. Well, here's the thing. If you actually have legitimate reason for, for claiming bankruptcy, that's one thing. But if you just were spending and spending and spending mm -hmm. and you weren't saving up for a rainy day, you know, or if your husband in the divorce took everything, but that wasn't your fault. Okay. That would say that would be fine. But if you and your husband are splitting everything, you guys are just spending, you know, like there's no tomorrow. Well then, yeah, I would feel guilty, but I wouldn't feel guilty if you have a legitimate reason, Yeah, you know? Um, Wanda wants to know what's the reason mattresses say do not remove the tags. I have no idea. I don't know. You can. You can. It has to do know. something with uh, until you, they sell them for pillows and mattresses. You yeah. can remove them when you get them home. <laughs> we should do a video on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> removing mattress tags. 
<laughs> Gwen got corned beef for $1.99 a pound yesterday. Mm. Very good after St. Patrick's Day sale. Joyce, I was able to get about 18 colored peppers on the clearance rack. I have plenty in the freezer, so I dehydrated them. Very good. Mm, good. Girl with a plan. I have a praise. God will provide when his time is right. He provided for my family this past week. Very good. Mm -hmm. Above and beyond, she said. Becky Ann, does the sunk spray smell work for people who walk by you in the grocery store and smell like marijuana? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sandy, I have issues shopping at Walmart, especially with the rude employees picking orders for pickup. I haven't had a problem with that here, but yeah. yeah. Carol sent me an email, says, went to Kroger on Monday this week, going down the aisle and saw a very interesting sale. Jiffy corn muffin mix on sale for 64 cents. Regular price was 65 cents. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's a good wow. one. Oh goodness. Uh guys, our books are on sale for 50% for the ebooks, 35% for our print books right now for our spring sale. If you're looking to get a cookbook that's easy recipes that get you in and out of the kitchen quick with ingredients you already have, go check them out. And our, I forgot, our undated planners, 20% off those. So you can start now and you won't lose any days. Sandra, I put a can of spaghetti sauce on top of my meatloaf. Uh, Mike, I will. Um, and it's yummy. That's a good idea. Yeah, I've never heard of that idea. before. That would mm -hmm. be like be eating spaghetti, but I mean, yeah, yeah that'd be really good. <laughs> In other words, she's saying that those flavors yeah. would blend good. Yeah. <laughs> Helen, do you use self-checkout or use a cashier? I try to use a cashier as much as possible. But when it's really bad, I just go through the self-checkout if that's one of the times. Because I I'm just... don't use the self-checkout. My 94-year-old mother, she can use the self-checkout every time I go with her. But me, I goof it up every time I have to call the lady over. It's a nightmare. So I, ha I just go through the line. Cynthia, um, I have a friend who went through the same harassment, took out credit cards in her name and maxed them out. Then he gave them to her. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Chrissy, my mom would cook a turkey in a paper bag. She would then take it out and brown it the last hour. Mm, mm. Interesting. Mm. Sandy they must has, have done that years ago. Did a lot of baking like that. For yes. Sorry. Sandy, I have all your books, but now I'm low carb and sugar due to diabetes. I've been on a diabetic diet many times well all four pregnancies and um i use my cookbook all the time it's mm -hmm. just a matter of adjusting yeah as a matter of fact we had years ago one gal uh, she called us or emailed us i forget which and we've had several since then too that say they like ours because they're di they're diabetic and they can adjust the recipes really easy to you know that um Okay, let's see. Kimberly made the cornbread the other day. It's really moist and tasty. Thank you. Takes a stick of butter, right? And, About a stick of yeah, butter. Yeah, I think so. And like a, a half stick, a cup of sugar. <laughs> stick of butter and a half. Oh, it's so good. And Gail so good. says she has the apple pie recipe. She has an apple pie recipe that's baked in a bed bag. It's the best. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I should do baking in a bag on the <laughs> super easy recipes. Bounty in the Badlands. My mom. Made a meatloaf with applesauce and brown sugar. Ooh, that Ooh, would be good, that too. would be good, yeah. Um, Sandra Tara, you're right. Can you tell Mike that, please? Um, <laughs> I've been watching the ads, and the sales are not good. Yeah. I've noticed the sales have really gone downhill. Mm -hmm. Donna, I should own up. I haven't always been the best with credit cards, but I always pay them off. Well, there you go. Very good. Pen, I got two seventy seven dollars for butter. In San Francisco... Limit four. Oh, please, people, don't sit here whining to me about how you can't buy groceries in San in California. That is a great <laughs> deal. That's better than here in Wyoming. Good job. I hope you stocked up on all of them. Uh, she said she got four for her and four for her hubby. I guess that's cheating. I would, I would just do it. <laughs> Crow's family. I show up almost every day when I go for walks. Carry what I buy in my backpack. Yeah, they're in Japan, so they probably buy their food like every day. Yeah, just to eat. They don't really stock up there. That's mm -hmm. the same thing in Europe. Like in Europe, they really have no no concept of what a stockpile is because their houses are so small that they don't have room, and their refrigerators are so small that they don't have room. Mm -hmm. So here in America, we don't grasp that concept. Yeah. Lori says, I used to put an extra egg on top of the meatloaf with water. Hmm. 
Oh, well, that's interesting. Mm, yeah. That Terry, would be good, though. Um, Terry says, I requested a Bible for my son's friend, and when I got it, and he picked it up and read it on our way to church. We both say thank you. Oh, oh that's great. Good. That is yeah. wonderful. Okay, let me check and see if there's any last... Yeah, a lot of people refuse to use self-checkout. That totally makes sense. Yep. Yeah. I totally get it. All right. Check out our spring spring into saving sale. 50% off our ebooks and our print books are 35% off right now. Go check them out, guys. And we will see you next time. I think we are going to be live on Friday. I don't know what we're talking about yet, but we will see you then. Have Bye, a good night. Bye, guys. Love you.